Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Jim. I am from Everyday 3D, and today we're going to be assembling the Flying Bear P905. I know many people have watched my videos on the 902, so today we're going to... Uh, step one of the P905 is to get this piece out of the box, which is towards the bottom with the heat bed. And there's also going to be four of these. Let's get a closer look at these here. This end is going to hook onto the outside of this box frame. There's four of them, and you're going to put four M4 screws and nuts in each one on all four corners, and they hook onto the outside and not the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that, so let's see. Okay. So they're going to hook on the outside like this and not on the inside. So like I said, uh, top and bottom, top and bottom, and we're going to do all four. And that is uh, step one. So let's start. I've already put on a couple of them already, uh, just to make sure that I knew what was what. on this so it won't fall apart. So like I said, these go on the outside and they're on four. You're going to put them on with uh, M4 nuts and bolts. I know, uh, at least mine wasn't, but the bags were not labeled. I think that's something that they definitely could do uh, a little bit better. At least put the size of the bolts and the nuts on the bags. Might make assembly a little bit easier for anyone who's never put together a DAY 3D printer before. Yeah, I know. I like to use the tools they give me. Some people don't, but I do. So after all, if they're sending you these tools, <laughs> they might as well work, right? Might as well be functional. So far, I like this one. You know, I haven't, like I said, I haven't really done anything with it except to start its assembly. see me getting real close to so things guys my vision is not all that great so and apparently I can't hold on anything either all right. well, let's try this again With that little extra snug. These are parts you do not want coming undone at any time. You always want your frame square and straight. When we get to that part, you'll see that I will use a level and measurements to make sure that all all sides are straight here. This is what the bag looks like, guys, for that. I don't know if you can see. Like I said, it would be nice if they uh, labeled the stuff. It would be great. Going to need four for each leg. I'm on the last one, guys. And this will complete step one to get these on. Ah, 
how you assemble this is entirely up to you. But, uh, you're welcome to follow along, or you know, I welcome questions or whatnot on this video. It's been a chilly day out here this morning. It was 32 degrees, so I guess fall is making its entrance. And oddly enough, it was 90 degrees last week. Good old New England weather. Big shout out to our face group, our Facebook group. A bunch of helpful guys and gals. Very good place to uh, ask your questions and uh, get some help. We we'll do the best we can to answer everybody's questions, but you know we all do have uh, jobs and etc. So kind of be patient with us if we're not immediately answering your questions. Just uh, give us some time. Like I said, we have families. And work just like everybody else. So, I don't like to rush through these things, guys. So if you're, if you're one of those guys that like to rush through everything, well, this might not be the video for you. Said guys, M4 nuts and bolts. There are four on each leg, and uh, that part of the assembly is done.